First off, I want to start off by um, number one, you know, just sending condolences and well wishes to those in Manchester, you know, affected by that uh, act of terrorism, which, you know, it's, it's rough. Um, I can't say that I've been through it or know how they feel, but, you know, I know how it feels to lose loved ones, and it's never a great thing. So just send our condolences to them, and also want to congratulate the Spurs um, on a great season, obviously not ending the way they want. Um, you know, but stand-up organization, you know, always one of the teams right there at the end, you know, they'll, and, you know, obviously this isn't the end of them. Uh, I'm getting Kawhi back healthy, you know, and coming back next year, I know they'll come back strong. So, you know, I want to congratulate them on a great season as well. Um... I mean, obviously, it's something that you, you, you're going to appreciate. You know, you try not to take it for granted. It just doesn't happen every year, you know, where you're headed to the NBA Finals. So you appreciate it, but, you know, you can definitely sense a little different type of feeling um, where it's, you know, it's all right, it's great, you know, and everybody's excited about it, but you, you just see that a difference, and it's still kind of business as usual, we're not finished type of attitude yet, which is great. Um, you know, you definitely want to have that, you know, and knowing that we need four more wins to accomplish our main goal. Draymond, as a competitor, beating the Spurs when they they face so many injuries, does it have kind of a spoiled taste? If you no, will? you have to you have to be who's out on the floor. Um, you know, and obviously, as a competitor, you want to play a team at full strength. Uh, that's just the nature of it. But at the end of the day, we know we also play a sport where injuries happen. And, you know, we've been affected by some injuries before, and we know the feeling. But at the same time, regardless of who's out on the floor, you still got to go out there and win. You know, we didn't just go play uh, Sisters of the Poor. You know, we, we played the San Antonio Spurs. This is a team that can still win no matter who they put on the floor. And you know that each and every time you step on the floor against these guys, no matter who they have out there, they can still win. And so um, obviously it sucks that Kawhi wasn't there and Tony wasn't there and David wasn't out there. But at the end of the day, a win is a win, and you have to be whoever is out there against you. Dave Schilling, Bleacher Report. Um, do you think, piggybacking on that last question, you guys – can move on from that sort of like dirty talk chatter that's been going on in the media that sort of has been blown up since game one? I forgot it was going on. Uh, we've been moved on from that a long time ago. We just play basketball. Draymond, uh, Kirk Bowles from the Austin American Statesman. Uh, in your 12 wins, is there one area you feel like y'all have improved the most? Um, I think our defensive intensity has been amazing. Uh, I think we can still improve on the attention to detail on that side of the ball. Uh, and, you know, that will that can help lead us to a championship, and it will be important in order to try to win a championship. But, you know, overall, I think we've done a great job of locking in on the defensive side, scrambling around, you know, trying to take away teams' number one option. And that doesn't necessarily mean the player, just, you know, trying to make them go to a second and third option in the set and also trying to cover that. I think we've been doing a great job of that. How'd you feel for Kevin in this moment? How joyous was he? I mean, this is you're, you've had a few finals, but I think this is his first in about five years. Yeah, um, I mean, obviously happy, you know, for him to be sharing this moment with him uh, after all he's went through, you know, with joining, you know, the squad and leaving OKC, you know, to be headed to the NBA Finals is a great way, you know, to combat all that talk and, you know, to win it will be even better. Uh, he doesn't seem like he's overjoyed or anything like that, you know, excited to be headed to the finals. But at the same time, he knows, you know, he didn't he didn't make the decision he made to go to the finals. You know, he made a decision he made, number one, for just his his own life, you know, and where, where he was at in his life and what he wanted to do, but also to win a championship, to go win, not just go to the finals. You know, no one remembers second place. Uh, no one cares who lost in the finals, you know, it's about winning. So we're there, uh, that's the first step. Now it's about winning and you can tell he's that, he has that mindset. Front row to your left, Scott Howard Cooper from NBA.com. You guys have been pretty close to unbeatable since you came through San Antonio near the end of the regular season. What in particular has clicked for you guys? And that was the game where there was so much attention on who, who didn't play. 
Did that game in particular spur this team forward? I mean, I think, you know, obviously anytime you can play against a great organization, great team like the Spurs, um, it, I, you all, you win, it's confidence booster. You know, no matter who you are, it, you gain confidence. Um, I think that was a good game for us, especially. I think we went down big, if I'm not mistaken, and we came back and uh, won pretty convincingly. You know, that was a big game for us. Uh, I can't necessarily say, like, oh, that game is the reason we're playing the way we're playing today. You know, I think just at a point in the season where – you want to be playing your best basketball and, and the entire season you're aiming to get towards that. You're working to get towards that, to that level, you know, the entire season. And so I think we've done that. Uh, I think we're clicking at the right time. And I also think we're still getting better. You know, I don't think we've reached our ceiling yet. And is there one or two things that you can point to that have really gone in that positive direction at the end of the regular season and out through the playoffs? Um, I think our defense, you know, has really stepped up a lot. You know, we've picked that up quite a bit. Everybody's locked in on that side of the basketball. Um, you know, when you, I, I say a perfect example is Clay. You know, he hasn't found his shot pretty much throughout the playoff, yet he's been just as locked in, if not more locked in, than anybody on that side of the basketball, and that's a huge step for us. Um, and then also I think our offensive flow, you know, we're not – singling anyone out saying, hey, man, we need to get this guy the ball. We're just doing everything in the Florida offense. Um, who the Guys who need to get shots, get shots. And, you know, I think our offense is rolling, and we're very powerful when we're playing that way. First team in history to go 12-0 and to start the playoffs. I mean, are you shocked that you were just able to go sweep, sweep, sweep through the West? I mean, you never come into the playoffs expecting, like, oh, man, we're going to sweep every series, you know, but it's a great thing. But at the end of the day, had we went four and three, four and three, and four and three, we'd still be in the same position. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't mean too much. Uh, it means we got a little more rest. We played a few less games. Um, but, you know, it's not like you get some trophy or something for being undefeated, you know, throughout the first three rounds of the playoffs. Uh, you know, it's like I've said it before, it's about winning the championship. And we're four games away for that. And now, if that's 4 0, great. You know, if it's 4 3, great. It doesn't matter how you get those four wins as long as you get them, and that's our goal. Last one. Cedric Golden, Austin American Statesman. Draymond, Steph got an N1 late in the game and stopped just before he shot his free throw to allow Manu to have his moment. Uh, what are your impressions of what he's done in his career, and, and uh, how much gas do you think he's got left in the tank? I think, um, you know, I think when you look at. Uh, the gesture by Steph, that was great. You know, uh, it's much respect. You know, it's for Manu and this entire organization, and he definitely deserved that moment, all he's done for the game of basketball. Um, he kind of worked us pretty good these four games, so I think he got, you know, quite a bit left in the tank. Um, you know, obviously it's up to him how much longer he wants to go. But, you know, one thing about it, he's definitely not a liability on the floor. You know, he can still defend. He can still score buckets with the best of them. So uh, I think it's pretty much up to him and how he's feeling personally. Uh, but he don't – obviously he's slowed down a step, you know, of where he was seven years ago. But we all go through that at some point or another. And yet everyone can come out, you know, in the year 15. And I'm pretty sure he probably averaged – close to 17, 18 points a game in this series. Uh, you know, obviously not the turnout, but, you know, they're also down some of their guys as well. You know, does he play that same way when their guys are out there? Probably so, because he does the same thing for them at all times. And, you know, it could help, you know, be a different outcome the way he was playing. So, you know, definitely much respect to uh, Manu and uh, their organization, and but everything that he's done in his career. You know, uh, first ballot Hall of Famer for sure. And, you know, Hopefully we, we'll see more of them. I enjoy watching them play. Uh, still one of the toughest guys. Anytime someone asks me, like, who's the toughest guys you ever guard in the league? He's one of the ones, always, in my answer. So, you know, definitely want to see him give it, you know, some more. Uh, it's enjoyable to watch. And, you know, but at the end of the day, we, we all know that it comes to an end Sunday. But it's always great to have that option. You know, everybody don't go out on their own terms. Uh, you know, I know he'll have that opportunity, and that's great.